Virginia Tech. They have four out of the top 100 recruits in the class of 2019. They are looking pretty darn solid. They have one guy who is in the top 15, which we'll get to in a little bit, and they are tied for the most in the with the the most recruits in the ACC and uh, with NC State. What else? Well, they qualified nine guys for nationals last year. And they were second at ACC's beside behind NC State. That is Virginia Tech. They took 11th at nationals. They were just a point behind Nebraska. So they were just a point off of that top 10 finish, which would have been great. They have one returning All-American to the lineup. Now that Makai Lewis is taking that Olympic red shirt year, that's definitely going to have an effect on Virginia Tech. Now they were... They were the six most returning points as far as every single team, six most returning, but now they go back to that like 20 in the 20 spot because Makai is out and he scored 22 points for the Hokies. Let's talk about 125 pounds. Three guys here at 125 pounds. Joey Prada, who is a red shirt junior. Prada was third at took third at ACC's. He was 15 and 13. The other guy you have is Corbin Myers. Myers, it was his first season at Virginia Tech last year from Edinburgh. He was third at ACC's. Now you're wondering, okay, well, what's the deal with this? Well, Myers is dropping down a weight this year. He's projected to drop down a weight to 125 pounds this year. He was number, uh, he was actually uh, number two in the ACC. He's ranked third, or he's number two ranked in the ACC excuse my mouth, ranked number two in the ACC by Flow Wrestling. Make sure you check out the four rankings on flowwrestling.com. He's ranked behind Jack Mueller. He's a three-time national qualifier, Edinburgh and Virginia Tech. He's 20 and 10 last year with a big win. Uh, one of his big wins last year, Myers' big wins, is over Mickey Philippi at 133 pounds. And Philippi, you know, that 133 pound weight class last year was absolutely insane with all the guys that won and lost to each other. And Myers is one of those guys who was definitely playing a key in that. The other guy you have in the lineup is Sam Latona, who's a true freshman. He's a number 41 recruit overall and number two at 125 pounds. He is from Alabama. Now, who is going to make it 125 pounds? I have to give it to Corbin Myers. You know, looking for that fourth national uh, qualification in his years of wrestling, I think Myers has got this spot at 125, going into 133. Of course, you could have Myers possibly bump up. Um, I really don't know why. I I really am not sure why he would, why he wouldn't. He's wrestled 133 the last couple of years. Um, But you, I mean, you could see that happen. You could see maybe the weight's a little bit too difficult to make, 125, so he, he bumps back up. You never know. Uh, so also you have Josh Bayer, who's a sophomore, uh, who's you know he's a tough wrestler for the Hokies. And then you also have Colin Girardi, who's a red shirt freshman. Now, Girardi is ranked number two in the ACC right now behind Mickey Phillippe, who I just mentioned Myers beat. Girardi is 16-6. During his redshirt year, he went to the uh, Southern Scuffle and he went into sudden victory with Roman Bravo Young. I believe he ended up losing that, but he went into sudden victory with him and he ended up taking seventh at the Scuffle. So I think because Myers is down at 125, I think Colin Girardi has to be at 133 for the Hokies at 141. Another three guys, Mitch Moore, uh, he he's the main guy. He's the returning Hokie for this lineup, and he is ranked second in the ACC right now by Flow Wrestling. He took second at ACC's last year. Um, he's ranked behind Tariq Wilson, who's 18-9 and nine last year, with wins over Josh Feinsilver and Sam Crevis. Those are two of his very big wins. Who else is here? We have Caden Darber, who's a senior, who was 9-4 last year, wrestling a couple opens, got a couple of good wins there. And another guy who got a couple wins at Cliff Keen, Las Vegas, was 11-4, and 14-11, four, was Dom Latona, who is another senior. But I really think that Mitch Moore is going to end up making the lineup here for the Hokies at 141 pounds. At 149, you have a guy who graduated last year in Ryan Blees who took fourth at ACC. So he's going to be somebody who is missed. But you do have coming in uh, Brent Moore, who is actually the brother to Mitch Moore uh, at 141 pounds. Brent Moore is a redshirt junior. He's number two in the ACC behind uh, 
national or all American Austin O'Connor from UNC. He was injured last year, so that kind of hurt him a little bit. And but he was a qualifier back in 2018. The other guy this week is Jake Hart, who's a redshirt freshman, so he's coming in this year trying to make that squad. Uh, he was 12 and nine last year with a couple of open wins, wrestled a couple of tournaments here and there. But Brent Moore, I have at 149 pounds at 157. Two true freshmen, two true freshmen who are going to be very tough. First of all is Dan Mancini, true freshman uh, out of Pennsylvania. He was number 14 in the country at 152 pounds. He number 99 recruit in the class of 2019 from Owen J. Roberts. He's a one-time state champ with 145 wins in high school in PA no less. The other true freshman coming in is Bryce Andonian, who is a Ohio Ironman placer, a Powerade champ from St. Ed's, a multiple times state champion. He's number 28 recruit and number seven at his weight class at 145 pounds. And so they're both obviously going to be tough in the wrestle offs. But the other guy you have is BC, uh, BC LaProd, who is a redshirt junior. Third in the ACC, took third last year. He's ranked behind Taylor Romani in Hydley at 157 those are going to be two tough guys to beat i don't know if, if he can do it maybe he can maybe he can't we'll see in the upcoming season it just makes for good wrestling but last year leprod had a his best win was probably over quincy monday from princeton who's a top ranked guy in the country and that's why i have leprod making the squad at 157 pounds at 165 now this is of course the biggest weight of contention the biggest talk of the week and of Virginia Tech because Lewis is out. Makai Lewis is out. He announced that he's taking his Olympic redshirt year. So what's going to happen? Where? Who's going to take over now at 165 pounds? Now that Virginia Tech's national champion isn't there anymore. Uh, so that is a very, very big loss. There's no way of skirting around that. Uh, but at this weight, I'll be honest, it's very loaded. And it's very loaded with a lot of young, young guys. A couple of those guys... Um, Dan Mancini, who I just mentioned at the previous weight. You have Connor Brady, true freshman. Eric Hansen, a sophomore. You have Scott Christian, a redshirt freshman. So it's pretty loaded with a lot of guys. Uh, the guy that I really want to get into is Connor Brady. He's the number 13 recruit overall in the class of 2019. So he's, he's really Virginia Tech's best recruit out of that class. He was number five at 165 pounds at that weight class in high school from Olentegi Liberty. Ohio. He's a two-time runner-up, uh, one of the only top 25 recruits not to ever win a state title, but he was a two-time state final, two-time state runner-up, two-time state finalist, an Ironman winner, and a Super 32 champion. Now, I think that you know another possibility at this weight class at 165 is David McFadden drops down. He had wrestled 165 in the past because he wrestled 74 last year and is kind of up a weight. I doubt that it'll drop you could see it but i doubt that that's why i have to say that brady uh, is going to come in as a true freshman uh, i don't know if he'll come in right away during the season maybe he'll, he'll wait a little bit maybe wait until like january wait until scuffle maybe that's when he'll pull his red shirt but i i see him probably making that lineup at 165 at 174 the guy that i just mentioned david mcfadden is returning starter for the Hokies he took he's also one of the returning All-Americans the only returning All-American uh, unfortunately because of Mackay out of the lineup he took fifth at Nationals last year in one ACC's now he is ranked number one in the ACC right now he's ranked ahead of Daniel uh, Bullard of NC State who I think that he can beat and looks to pose a real threat at nationals last year as a top uh, contender at 174 you also have cody hughes at who's a red shirt so senior and jordan florence who's a red shirt freshman uh so both of those guys looking to beat out mcfadden for that main spot but i gotta give it to mcfadden as 174 pounder at 184 three guys here that you have uh because zach zavatsky was a uh 
he took an eighth at Nationals last year. He wasn't All-American last year, but he's unfortunately no longer in the lineup for the Hokies. So you have three guys coming in. Brooks Wilding, who's a senior. He's been with the, with Virginia Tech for quite a while. Uh, D'Angelo DeWitt, who's a redshirt freshman incoming. Uh, last year, he was 7-5. and five. And the other guy you have is Hunter Bowen, a redshirt sophomore. Now, right now, he is the guy ranked in the ACC. Right now, he's ranked number two overall behind Nino Bonacorsi. He wrestled his true freshman year. Uh, he was 2018 qualifier, so he actually took his redshirt year last year, wrestler's true freshman year. Uh, he was a Hokie Open champ. He was 12-1 and last year, and he had one loss, and that was at the Southern Scuffle. The only loss was to Shakur Rashid of Penn State. So really, that's showing a lot. He has a win over Louis Duprez, uh, Binghamton, and Chip Ness, All-American Chip Ness, who uh was really like upset city last year at nationals and so the fact that Bolin has a win over him really uh, makes me feel like he's going to be a strong starter for uh, the Hokies and you know looking for that maybe skirting around that all-american status maybe he doesn't get it this year in the future uh, but I, I think he's going to be a threat to look out for him uh, mark my words there at 197 Cody Howard is a redshirt freshman coming in. Uh, he's ranked number five in the ACC. Now, he is the lowest ranked in the ACC right now of the Hokies. However, you know, preseason rankings don't really mean nothing, especially when you're a redshirt freshman. You haven't really wrestled anybody yet. Now, he was 92 last year, and uh, he still has some wins under his belt, uh, or some, some matches under his belt, and Renan, Aiello, and Stout wrestled them a little bit last year. Uh, you know, he has wins and losses, but... Just to talk a little bit about that. And then you have Stanley Smelter, a sophomore. Now, I think that I have to give this spot to Cody Howard at 197. And please, Hokie Wrestling fans, Virginia Tech Wrestling fans, let me know in the comments below. You know, you guys knew so much about Makai Lewis last year when everybody else was really overlooking him. What's the deal? Let me know in the comments below. Am I overlooking somebody this year again? Please let me know. At 285 pounds, two guys here. Uh, because Billy Miller, who was the starter last year, he's, I was about to say retired, he graduated. Uh, he took third in the ACC last year. Trent Raglan is a redshirt freshman, rested a couple opens. But the guy who is probably going to make the lineup is John Borst, a sophomore. Now, he's number two in the ACC right now behind Demetrius Thomas of Pitt, who is ranked number one right now in the ACC. He was 12-10 and 10 last year. He wrestled Nick and Seth Neville, Demetrius Thomas, and Stevenson. Now, while he wrestled all those guys and he lost to them all, at least he got some of those wins or some of the some of that competition under his belt. So I think that's really going to help him. And make sure you check out these other lineups.